Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's advisor Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa met in Bangkok today with Thai Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Don Pramud Winai. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa conveyed to him the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and their best wishes of further growth and prosperity to the Kingdom of Thailand and its people. Both sides reviewed bilateral relations of friendship and their steady development in all fields. They also reviewed issues of common interest. Social Development Minister Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf praised his majesty the king's directive to deliver urgent relief aid to those affected by the devastating earthquake in Turkey and Syria, noting that the royal gesture affirms the noble humanitarian and civilizational image of the kingdom. The minister lauded the initiative to launch a campaign to donate funds to assist the quake hit people in Turkey and Syria under the supervision of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF. Al Asfur affirmed the Social Development Ministry's keenness to implement the Royal Directives, noting that it has directed the licensed civil society organizations to contribute to the campaign through official accounts in coordination with the Royal Humanitarian Foundation to support the Kingdom's approach to alleviating the suffering of those affected by natural disasters in the world, which reflects its moral commitment towards all people. People. In line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Salat Al Ghaib, absentee funeral prayers were performed in various mosques across the kingdom for the victims of the earthquake which struck Turkey and Syria. The chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs assigned the Sunni and Jafari endowments directorates to direct all imams of mosques in Bahrain to perform Salat al Ghaib today following the Friday prayers. Imams and worshippers prayed, asking God Almighty for mercy and forgiveness for the deceased and for the injured a speedy recovery and to protect Bahrain and Muslim countries from all harm and misfortune. In a statement, the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs prayed to Allah the Almighty to have mercy on the deceased and bless the injured with quick recovery. Participants at the closing symposium of the Joint Youth Action Committee between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union held in the Belgian capital Brussels emphasized the role that youth can play through cyberspace in confronting terrorism and preventing its spread. This came at the end of a symposium of the Youth Action Committee between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union with the participation of 30 young men and women from various countries of the EU and the Kingdom of Bahrain. The aim was to enhance the overall relationship between the EU and the GCC countries and strengthen mutual understanding between EU and GCC citizens through public diplomacy and outreach activities. The symposium witnessed the participation of more than 30 youth from different European countries. The holding of the forum was among the recommendations of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union Conference on Freedom of Religion and Belief held last year. Here today we listened to the um, outcomes of the different working groups of the students from the EU and Bahrain together and uh, it was a hugely impressive report at the end. Their recommendations were, were very impressive. Um, first of all they are recommending that we explore more the effects on mental health and physical health of those who have suffered at the hands of cyber bullying or cyber hate that it should not be underestimated. Secondly um, we have focused on the fact that climate change is something that um, people of faith uh, in the respect of the freedom of religion or belief uh, communities want to focus on and play a more active part in climate change because it affects all of us. Well, I was very happy to, uh, to engage with this uh, organization and with uh, the youth in this uh, context and happy as well to explain what the European Commission is doing in the areas we discuss, like cyberspace, freedom of religion, and also, very importantly, as this was raised, a dialogue with religious uh, leaders, with religious organizations and non confessional organizations we are carrying out through, throughout Europe. But I think it was a very interesting uh, exchange and to have, to see different views and explain also the European approach to some of these issues. The conference was uh, very important for us um, because we brought together the youth from Europe and Bahrain and uh, we really talked about cyberspace uh, and how to promote uh, coexistence and, and peace. 
um, and it was very interesting to come uh, into dialogue with uh, people from the academic world but also with policy makers and what was really nice to hear is that the all the people, uh, the policy makers, but also the academics, um, they all had one thing central, and that is that they want to have the youth, um, and that they want to have the voice of the youth, uh, that they be become, uh, that they uh, are heard. Um, what we have seen um, is a lot of intervision between the youngsters, European um, young experts, and the young experts from Bahrain. Um, during the workshops, uh, we had very interesting dialogues about uh, how to prevent um, cyber, um, so radicaliz radicalization in cyberspace. Um, and the, the, we have a lot of common thoughts and common visions um, about how we can um, cooperate in the prevention of, of, of um, radicalization in cyberspace. So we had a lot of cross influence, uh, cross thoughts. The Ministry of Information will organize a festival at the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan on the occasion of the anniversary of the National Action Charter between February 14th to the 18th. The festival will be open to the public from 4 p.m. till 10 p.m. daily. The festival is one of the distinguished events that are held in the kingdom following the outstanding success of the previous editions in term of programs and a visitor turnout. This year's edition will feature varied events and activities that appeal to all age groups. Visitors of the festival will enjoy the atmosphere of the Heritage Village and its buildings and urban models that reflect different stages of the history of the kingdom.